We are live here in, well, Pat O'Connor's backyard known as Little Fenway, and I'm standing next to the Green Monster, maybe the iconic piece of this beautiful recreation of Fenway Park, and it is the centerpiece of the 10th annual Travis Roy Foundation Vermont Wiffle Ball Tournament. Now, earlier this afternoon, I had a chance to talk with the foundation owner, with the, the, the host of the foundation, the namesake of the foundation, the namesake of the tournament, Travis Roy, about himself, about this tournament, and about what his foundation has been able to do with the amazing amount of money this tournament has raised. I'm joined here with the man whose foundation and the tournament is named after Travis Roy. Travis, great to catch up with you again. Uh, how's the summer been for you? It's It's been good. It's been good. As uh, some people might know, I spend my summers up here and a little slow start with the uh, with the flooding, but uh, um, it's, uh, it's just fantastic. And the, the build up and the hype to, to this event. Um, it's exciting and, and just can't wait to get things started tonight. I mean, I know you, you travel all over the place all throughout the year supporting your foundation. Is it nice to have this little respite uh, during the summertime? It's, uh, it's, I don't know if I call it a respite. This is our, <laughs> this is our biggest, biggest deal, our biggest fundraiser by far. And uh, there's so much that goes into it and it's, it's year round planning. Um, but the, the thing that hasn't been lost in the 10 years that we've been doing it is it's just the spirit and the fun and the passion that the people have here. I mean, uh, obviously I grew up playing hockey, but there's the, the, the baseball nuts that are out there. And Pat O'Connor, he's, uh, uh, I think it's fair to say he's one of them, but uh, uh, it's, it's just the passion that they have in, in, in putting this together is special. You look that this has been 10 years on and it started out so small. And is, is it still amazing to you, as, as you said, that it is now your biggest fundraiser of the year? Well, you just, you just the, the first year we had seven teams and raised $4,000. And it was a monsoon, and but we still had a blast. We were psyched with the amount of money raised, and and um, we just knew, who knew that the potential was there to to, to do what it's done. And, uh, and and of course, last year was a big deal in in, in capping a million dollars in nine years. But but I'm most proud of just the, the way it was done. It's it's very much a grassroots effort. It's the twenty dollar donations, the ten dollar donations. Um, every team member willing to go out and. Um, knock on doors and contact their coworkers and their family and 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 just uh, there's a closeness to it that um, quite frankly I haven't really found with a lot of other um, events. It really is amazing because as like you said it's 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 a real team effort because every one of the players that's competing in this event has actually gone out and done some like work and helped raise some money. Exactly and and they're plenty competitive out on the field but it's nice that it has carried over to the fundraising and the teams get competitive amongst themselves, amongst the other teams. Um, you know, we've got the uh, uh, the lottery system on, on Sunday to get into the playoffs, and, and uh, judging by how much money you bring in depends on how many lottery balls you get, and people want to be in the playoffs. So it's, uh, um, as you say, it's, it's, uh, it's worked out great. Last year brought in over $370,000, nearly $1.1 over the course of these nine years, which are just amazing numbers. What, is, what have those numbers been able to translate into as far as the foundation? That's, I'm, I'm so glad you asked. That's the exciting part. Um, we're, we're able to, to, to give out larger research grants. Um, we gave out over $250,000 in research grants last year. Uh, that, that makes a difference in, in uh, uh, really... Uh, making that happen. I still have the hope that, that there'll be a major advancement in my lifetime and of course for the hundreds and, and, and thousands of other people that are injured and, and maybe even um, on a more personal note the individual grants for the for the wheelchair accessible um, ramp to get into the house. We gave a grant out uh, this past winter to uh, local gentleman John Villeneuve who um, was injured in a, in a skiing accident. Uh, had great insurance to, to go to any rehab facility he wanted in the country. Problem was he didn't have transportation uh, the insurance wouldn't pay for the transportation, so we gave him an $8,000 grant to, to medevac him down to the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, Georgia, um, and he's doing great. I saw him a couple of days ago, um, and it's just a lot of uh, stories like that. One of my favorites, uh, we gave a gentleman a, in, uh, an elevator lift for his home. He had three young kids, and he wasn't able to get up to his kid's room, and he really missed out on that. And so he, he uh, sent a letter, and it said, sometimes I thank God on the way up, and I thank the Travis Roy and the Found Travis Roy Foundation on the way down for, for, for the grant. So 
those are the type of things we're doing and it's special. It is really special to see that this has been able to turn into actual tangible benefits and I know one of the special moments every year when you're out giving your you know pregame speech before the start you always say that at some point in time you want to run these bases yourself and uh, and I know all of us are, are, are hoping for that exact same thing and do you feel like do you feel like we're close? Uh, I, I think we're a ways off. I, I'm gonna be honest I I think that they're they're finding advancements and there's uh, I think there'll be improvements. Maybe, you know, maybe I could be able to use my hands, and my arms, and get back a little bit of mobility. Um, but it's you know, close is all relative. You know, is it 10 years? Maybe 15 years? Um, we'll um, we'll get there. But it's uh, it, it is going to happen, and and especially for people that are recently injured or, or a year or, or two of those that aren't even injured yet. But. But at least that, that, that hope is becoming more strong and more tangible. And all of us continue that hope and, and continue using events like this weekend's Travis Ray Foundation with football tournament to raise money for it. Travis, thank you very much. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you, and thanks to everybody out there that's supporting us.